Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Live. Uh, today I will be just demonstrating this app um, on my iPhone. It's called Record 3D App. And so you can see here my two hands. And this is actually using the Face ID front camera. And it's taking like a point cloud data and turning it into 3D and depth data. So you can record video and sound, audio, and also the point cloud and the depth at the same time using this app um, so the app is called record 3d and you can actually using the face ID and the lidar with the lidar it will be like lower resolutions um, so I, I I'm just gonna use the face ID for now so let's do a quick test so two hands and I'll be sending this into blender or some somewhere like um, I will show you that you can also do this as a real time. So let's quickly um, use the Wi-Fi mode. So this time I will I will try streaming it into my computer. So so this is a three, this is the demo. I will show you later. Uh, you can actually do something really neat. Start to start streaming. So now you can see my real hands. And also the depth of my hands. I can use another object like this guy over here. And yeah, if it's too close and it's become red, that means the depth is it's too close to the camera, so it doesn't take the depth. So it's good to keep it orange or yellow. All right. So anyway, you got the idea. So it takes the depth and sending it in real time into my computer. Uh, what I'm gonna show you next, uh, so let's stop this. So I don't need this reflector app anymore. I'm gonna send the video. Uh, first, I'm exporting the RGB, RGBD data from my iPhone into the computer. Hopefully, this works. So the resulting image will be something like this. Or I'll be sending this into a blender or somewhere like that. So this is the RGB the video data, RGB with depth data. And this video can be turned into point cloud. Um, the file size of this video, this is already like a compressed version. You can send this to your friend and your friend can see this as a 3D. So that's basically the idea. So there you go. So this is supposedly 3D. Two and a half D actually. So with RGB and depth data. So the and I made something in Blender and so this is a video of me doing this demonstrations. And yeah, you got the idea. I basically, I'm using Blender compositing. Basically, from this depth data, I I use a keying, chroma keying, separating the HSV because this is actually HSV, not yet depth data. And then map. Uh, I think I'm using map range. I don't need to do that, but I multiply it with four combine it and using the alpha getting rid of the whatever red color it's become alpha and I end up with this depth okay so this depth can then be used to to do displacement inside blender so let's save this very quickly and this is one of the result and this is already not in real time This result. Maybe this. Okay. So this is the demonstration using my face, and I'm using Blender displacement, and the image is coming from um, 
from our image. Where is it? Image editor. Yeah. This guy. So first, I have an, uh, I have a plane, and I've, I subdivide it twice with modifier, and then I displace it using the UV. So I can get it like this, so it's square. So this is the the capture. So this is using the face ID instead of lidar. With the lidar, it's going to be lower resolution. I have a couple of example actually. Yeah, this is with lidar. It's actually quite low resolutions. This large tree with the depth I took, but that's a uh, that's using face ID. It's like uh, twice or four times larger. What we are uh, interested in, of course, is the depth. So you can use the depth to do this kind of thing. And then you just turn it into some kind of art. So, yeah, actually the, the app itself can actually export the raw data, point cloud data, if you like. Um, the the point cloud data tends to be really large, like a uh, gigabyte size, even just for a few seconds. So that's why this MP4 is really small, like can be under 10 megabyte or maybe just 50 megabyte for something that's really long. And you can send it to your friend and that's the cool part. So with something like this, right, it has noise, it has sound as well, you can send a 3D two and a half the version of the video so that's what the app does the point cloud the raw data however you can uh, you, you can also export it from the app and bring it into blender um, I believe I have some example and but I need to have point cloud importer in blender this is 2.93 alpha I have in my older version of blender I have it uh, maybe I can Add like like extra video in uh, on GitHub so you can watch uh, the demonstration. So with this something like this with the dev, <clears throat> I usually will separate the video left and right. This is the texture data, and this is the the dev data, and then combine them together, and you have like a two and a half um, two and a half D relief um, image or video. So it's pretty cool. Um, so hopefully, if you find you find this interesting, you can use your if you have iPhone 10, which is like three years old now, you can use that. Uh, the Face ID works well, or iPad Pro with lidar. iPad Pro also have Face ID. Actually, any recent phone like the iPhone 12 has Face ID. SE maybe it doesn't have, but I forgot. But any iPhone with Face ID can take this kind of 3D data and you can send it to your friend um, or just mix it inside Blender. My next experiment is trying to use to use it with file file to Fox with Magica Fox Sale to turn it into some kind of um, some kind of art. I don't know. Let's see. Um, so that's basically what I want to show you today. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.